made it to Africa. This is a pretty special trip for Zach and I. I can't believe I'm standing on the banks of the Nile. So stoked to be here right now. For our last international trip, Columbia turned over the reins to us and said, where do you want to go? So Lauren and I basically spun a globe and then uh, what we decided upon together was Uganda. First day in Africa, we did a safari and we drove around the park looking for wildlife, which was not hard to find. The park was totally abundant. Everywhere we went, you know, we saw animals. It was cool to, you know, be checking out, you know, animals that I've been studying since I was a kid, animals that are in the alphabet book that, you know, you finally get to see out in the wild and it, it was pretty incredible. Just seeing all of these animals kind of in motion, you know, we see photographs and video and all those things, but to actually see these animals living and being and moving in real life, that was definitely the highlight for me. So for the second leg of our journey, we took a flight from Entebbe up to the Mugahinga region of Uganda. We went on a cultural hike with the Batwa people. They can't trace their origins, so they're believed to be the first people that have been living in this region. Just to kind of start off our adventure in this completely different environment with the people who have been there since the beginning was so inspiring and informative. You know, they showed us how they used to catch antelopes. You know, they showed us how they collected drinking water in bamboo tubes. Um, these guys started a fire with sticks which was the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. Just friction, putting wood together, and before you knew it, they had a fire. So it was really a comprehensive look at their lifestyle. That was a really incredible way to be introduced into the land uh, by the people who had been there since the very beginning. So one of the main reasons Lauren and I picked to come to Uganda was this is one of the only places in the world that you can find mountain gorillas. Um, so we went out with uh, with the crew of Ugandans, and so we started our hike. After about an hour of going through the super lush forest. We walked around that corner, and there they were playing under some trees. And as we approached, it, it absolutely blew my mind and exceeded every expectation that I would have. First off, we, we see this mom and this baby just playing together. And they kind of appeared not to notice us at first, and then they, they, they were very aware of us, as it turned out. Um, and they started interacting with us. And, and they're running around, chasing some of our guides, trying to grab cameras. It was hilarious. They have such personalities. The silverbacks were absolutely incredible. They were so big and, and looked so strong. They were kind of off by themselves, very in tune to what was going on around them because it's their job to protect the family. It was really beautiful to see how they interact as a family and how they interact with humans as well. There's such a limited number of them. They are so human-like, they're so playful. Definitely one of the most unique experiences I've ever had and certainly the most unique wildlife experience I've ever had. We did this trip justice, you know, I didn't just visit, but we traveled, we saw, we interacted, we learned, and we grew. You know, Uganda is definitely a place like no other place I've been before. It was incredibly rural, it was incredibly poor, you know, but there's a lot of wealth in this country in, in other ways. There's this buzz about Uganda. It's as full of life, and it's got enough life to kind of give you a little extra dose of life. <laughs> 